tennis superstar Novak Djokovic dropped out of the Indian Wells Masters and the Miami Open after the Biden administration denied his request for a vaccine waiver. Djokovic remains unvaccinated against COVID-19. Florida Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio denounced the administration's move and sent a letter to the president urging him to intervene, writing, quote, in September 2022, you plainly declared to a national audience on 60 Minutes that the COVID-19 pandemic is over. And earlier this year, Dr. Anthony Fauci published a professional article acknowledging the limited efficacy of vaccines in protecting against respiratory pathogens like the novel coronavirus. The U.S. currently has a ban in place against unvaccinated travelers coming into the country until May 11th. Robbie, I mean, how is it that the pandemic is over when it comes to Title 42 and millions of people crossing the border, but it's still a pandemic when this amazing, you know, uh, tennis player, you know, who's who's protecting his body for actual, actual career related Mm -hmm. reasons wants to come and play tennis? This is just it shows you the the lack of flexibility that government bureaucrats have. Mm. So this policy never made any sense because while the vaccines uh, do a a lot of good in preventing severe disease and death among at-risk populations, they do not, unfortunately, significantly prevent cases of the... You you can be vaccinated, you can get COVID, you can spread COVID. That is an experience millions of people have had. Um, So the fact that he is not vaccinated does not put anyone at risk put anyone else's health at risk. You know, if you're concerned about your health, you can talk to your doctor about vaccination, boosters, other things, et cetera. That's an individual decision. It's not, you're not threatened by other people in, in, if they're not vaccinated. That is that the stigmatizing of the unvaccinated that the professional, you know, health punditry uh, uh, did for, for months was just, was just awful. But anyway, so this policy makes no sense. Everyone acknowledges it makes no sense, and they're still enforcing it, and they're going to keep enforcing it for another few weeks, and then they're, then they're, they're going to stop. They're, they could just stop enforcing it today. Why do they have a plan to get rid of it in the future? Just get rid of it now. Um, our peer countries do not do this. Many European countries, Canada, I don't believe, you can travel to these places if you're unvaccinated. Uh, you know, a lot of these countries, I hear, we always hear from, from many liberals and progressives, you know, the U.S. Is, has this individual characteristic that's unhealthy and we should be more like, more like Northern Europe, more like Canada, et cetera. There's so many ways, though, in which those countries are, are more free or pursued much less militant COVID policies. And it's, it's just astonishing. We are an outlier in terms of much mass enforcement related to masking and vaccines. But, uh, but a- anyway, the policy is indefensible. It never made any sense. It should be gotten rid of. And uh, it, it's going to stop this very talented person uh, from, from competing uh, here in the U.S. Do you think President Biden will intervene? No, I, I, I don't think so. Um, I, he should. I, again, they should just end the policy. I, I get that it, it, you can come back and say, well, why does it, it, should there be special exceptions for this you know, important person that other, other people around the world wouldn't enjoy? I'd say, Fair enough. Just get, grant the exception to everyone who wants to come here. We're not stopping, you're not stopping COVID from entering the country. It's here. Uh, let's say, I never, I, never, I never liked the Title 42 justification. You know, if we want to have different immigration policies, we should just have them. The idea that you're, you know, stopping COVID from crossing the borders is insane. It was always insane. Um, so th- this, this is similarly, if you want to say no special exemption for a specific person, fine. We should just get rid of the policy. We're going to do that anyway. Get rid of it right now. Return to sanity the way we have on so many other fronts, the way Biden has acknowledged we, we should in other contexts. I, I wish he had done it even more sooner, but he has done it. Uh, so this is it, it just it, it goes to show you, I, I don't know, <laughs> federal bureaucracies just being totally, totally inflexible beyond any beyond any reason on so many subjects, but especially covid. So um, I, I hope President Biden does intervene, but uh, I, I very much doubt that he will. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we will have more rising for you right after this. <laughs> 